Hey okay, viewers, it's Tuesday morning, the 29th of August, and um, I'm just sat at, at uh, one of the uh, lookout points near Elwood. Yeah, just bought myself some brekkie. Uh, had another free voucher for a Guzman uh, brekkie burrito, and yeah, got a mocker for 270, so that's really cheap brekkie. Yeah, yeah. I'm just here in Brecky at the moment. Um, I'll do some more videoing uh, when I go out and do some photography and stuff. But anyhow, you can see the uh, city of Melbourne in the distance. There's the uh, Trig Point. Yeah, quite a beautiful looking area. I've only just got here, but it looks beautiful already. The weather's actually quite nice this morning. Make really good for photography, so yeah. Looking forward to doing that. Anyhow, time to munch on my Guzman and do some photography. See you in the next video. Okay, viewers, I'm up in the hill uh, at the uh, Trig Point. This is actually uh, called Point. Didn't know the name. I forgot, kind of forgot the name until I looked it up on Google Maps. But anyway, very lovely view of, uh, of the south uh, east and suburbs of Melbourne. And all that, Port Phillip Bay. So, to the north, we've got the CBD of Melbourne. I'll uh, zoom right in and on right into onto the uh, skyscrapers. Melbourne has some very, very cool skyscrapers. As I said, they're yeah, probably very cultural and very artistic, and in both architecture and just culture in general. And their buildings are pretty futuristic. Sydney's starting to catch up with the really futuristic, cool looking buildings. I think Melbourne pretty much uh, was ahead of Sydney. I totally marvel at uh, awesome looking architecture. There's my favourite building, the one with the golden balconies, skywalk. That could be Luna Park. Luna Park is up in St Kilda area. I believe that's Luna Park. I'm not 100% not certain, but I'm, I believe that'd be Luna Park. Uh, Alright, that's a CBD. Over there we've got uh, one of the main bridges, I don't know the name of it, as I'm not a local of Melbourne obviously. That pretty much stands here. The uh, port area where goods get shipped and stuff. The outer suburbs, industrial areas. And out right out in the uh, Port Phillip Bay, got some freighter ships. Uh, 
Yeah, I've um, got a pile driver out there, um, yeah, which uh, one of my friends was posting on Facebook. Apparently, I think they're sort of looking for oil or something, trying to drill oil. Put an oil rig there, perhaps. I'm just going off loose information. Another freighter ship. Yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah, I can't even see the other end of the. Well, I can just see the other end of the bay, but see, yeah, it's very, very faint. Enjoyed a good breakfast here and just chilling out. Anyhow, just already been taking some photos on my digital camera. Let's see if I can show some to you. I'll go to the uh, photos of the CBD. easy to see this is <laughs> a reflection from the light and all that but yeah we're taking some zoomed in shots gonna take you know, a bunch more photos and yeah stick around here for an hour and a half and then it's off to my mate's place I'm actually catching up with a few mates who you know try who um, archive old music footage and stuff and yeah it'd be great to meet them finally because I've known them for 20 years and I've never really actually met and, and until uh, later today when I'm going to meet him. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that. In the meantime, I'm just going to sit out here and take photos and enjoy the scenery. Yeah. See you in the next video. Okay viewers, it's uh, Wednesday the 30th of August and uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I thought I'd just go and see the outside of Luna Park. I'm not going to go to Luna Park today because I've already got other other plans. I'm going to be catching up with my mate Andre and going to go and see uh, the uh, old studios of GTV9 in Richmond. But anyway, yeah, that's that's planned today already. But anyway, I thought I'd just come out here and just, yeah, show you Luna Park place either. Not really a great day to <laughs> go there anyhow well it's pretty crap this is just a pretty quick video I'm gonna take I'm just gonna take photographs before it starts raining again anyway you got the place theater over there very nice architecture and yeah of course Luna Park the uh, famous roller coaster that that runs the uh, perimeter of Luna Park and you've got a nice little park down there in front of it all right Anyhow, time to take some photos and then, yeah, before the rain starts and, yeah, move on. See you in the next one. Okay, viewers, I'm back in the car now. It did indeed start fully raining not too long after I took some photos. So I was lucky I got them done before it started pissing down. Yeah, today's going to be pretty shitty weather. So, yeah. Not happy about that, but yeah, the weather's going to do what the weather's going to do. Yeah, just outside of Macca's, uh, where I had breakfast earlier, across the road from Luna Park. If I went to Luna Park today, it'd just be pretty miserable weather, and I don't know, I don't even know if Luna Park's even open. I would have loved to have gone though, but yeah, I've just got other engagements today, um, yeah, well, I'm going to be picking up. I'm going. To, I'm going to be later on picking up that beta machine that I got serviced um, the other day. I'm going to pick that up today. Um, earlier on today, I'm going to be. Yeah, as said I'm going to. Um, Andre is going to take me along and uh, for a tour of of the old GTV9 studios, which are now, which are now, uh, yeah, empty. Or at least I think they are, anyways. Yeah, because it because it's closed down uh, many years ago. Anyhow, um, yeah, so, yeah, I did a 
did some Polaroids. This is one Polaroid from yesterday when I was out at Ormond Point. Came out pretty nice, apart from that line there, but yeah, came out pretty good. That's a view of Melbourne, that is. Uh, the other Polaroids I've got here, um, so it's a photo of Luna Park entrance, which is still developing. That's coming up all right. And I took one of Place Theatre, which unfortunately I got the I got I I got the parallax wrong, and it's pretty much just a little bit out of frame on the right hand side, which is a bugger. And I was taking that I was kind of like on the road, <laughs> you know, in a little divide strip between the tram line and the and the and the roadway. So I was kind of a little bit yeah, better get this done quickly, sort of thing. <laughs> oh. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, later this morning, gonna catch up with Andre and then we're gonna go to go for go to GTV9 and have a look around at the old studios or, or whatever um, areas that we can get access to. Okay, viewers, I decided to come back to uh, Little Park again to do some photos here and there. But I'm only going to do them on my mobile phone because of uh, yeah, because of the rain and all that. And I don't want to get my DSLR wet. So anyhow, I'm on the uh, eastern side of the park. There's the uh, Great Scenic Railway, which is what that big roller coaster right that that goes the circumference of uh, Luna Park is called. Anyway. Quite impressive. Anyway, I can't see a lot inside of the park, but most of the railway, which is probably going to be the main thing I'll be photographing. So I'm just going to walk around. It's sprinkling rain, but it's tolerable at the moment. All right. Well, anyway, take a few photos and then I'll head off to Andre's. See you next video. Okay, viewers. Here I am with my mate Andre. Um, yeah, he's uh, kindly taken me to uh, GDV Channel 9, um, where, you used to work. where you used to work. Um, yeah, it's no longer in operation because they've moved Channel 9. But, yeah, well, anyway, um, that's, this is Channel 9 uh, Television City. You've got Television City on the right side, Studio 9 in the middle there, and that's the uh, rest of the building over there. We're going to be taking a bit of a tour of the uh, building where we can get access to. They've, they've actually got a cafe in there as well. But anyhow, really happy to be here and see a bit of uh, bit of history. Anyhow, see you in the next vlog. Okay, viewers, we're at the side of the building where we've got the got a really nice uh, logo of of the building, GDV9. Um, I'll just go zoom in a bit. There we go. GDV9, Channel 9. Uh, Andre says he worked just below in the building just. In the room just below the nine. That's where he uh, worked. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm glad the building's still here and hopefully it'll stay here for many years to come. Anyway, that's the side of the building. Alrighty, see you in the next video. Okay, viewers, um, yeah, I forgot to do a video as me and Andre were walking around the building and and uh, Andre was telling me, um, telling me about where, what used to be around and all that before it was replaced by uh, flats and that sort of thing. But now I'm pretty much right out the front of the uh, studio, Studio Nine, um, pretty much. So I'm just going to do a bit of a walk around and um, try and regurgitate some of what I've Andre said from what I can remember. So, I'll go around from the other side of the road here to um, so see more of the building, but this is the side view of the building with the original GTV9 logo that dates back to the 50s. Quite a nice classic logo that is.
Yeah, I said uh, Andre worked uh, worked uh, just in that uh, room just underneath the nine there. That's what he told me. He worked in uh, news editing pretty much. That was his main job. Yeah, I think he told me, uh, like this area here, I think he told me the OB vans used to be situated around here. Because Channel 9 pretty much extended all the way, all the way down much further than, um, than, this, than this building. It, um, yeah, a lot of... Uh, but yeah, a lot of the land, a lot of the area where Channel 9 used to extend to has been replaced by my apartments. Now, um, so yeah, across the road you can see you can see uh, one of the, the GTV9 cameras, Pi Mark III. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, this is actually uh, Kennedy Street. I'm pretty sure it is anyways um, I'll just go up a bit further and actually no it's <laughs> I'm in the wrong street but anyway and, uh, it, as I said it extends much further down um, but anyhow um, so yeah this is uh, the court area of the building uh, I believe Andre said there used to be a, a big swimming pool in this particular court area Um, I'm going to go down this way now. The air uh, GTV 9 pretty much extended all the way down here, uh, down to down to pretty much the end of this uh, road here, where you can see one of those really old houses. Yeah, Andre told me a lot, a lot of what used to be around this particular area, but I've kind of forgotten some of it. But anyway, uh, this, I guess this is pretty much about the end of the of where the uh, studio extended to. So yeah, this is uh, Kennedy Avenue, um, named after Graham Kennedy, and as you can see. There's Graham Kennedy with the film. There's also another photo further up. <coughs> this is a photo of one of the studios in GTV9, one of the main studios with the old Pi Mark III cameras. Andre said that the studio itself was pretty much the same as in as depicted in this photo but with modern cameras when when GTV9 closed down. Alrighty, well I'm just gonna walk up and just film the remaining bit of this little uh, walk around. So see you in the next video. I gave you is back in the main courtyard area of uh, GTV9. Yeah, it's new apartments going up pretty much around the place. Where um, some of the studio, some of the uh, building used to be. But yeah, they've, they've kept the main part of the building, but they've gotten rid of a lot of the other parts of the building that was that was part of GTV9, which was which is really sad. Now yeah, just walking through through the through the alleyway here. You can actually uh, see the uh, original layout of GTV9, the model set diorama.
and we're now pretty much back out the front again. Yeah, Andre said that the, the, the original buyers or something um, were originally going to tear this whole place down. Thankfully, the National Trust stopped that. Well, at least that's what I remember him saying. Alright, well that wraps up this little tour of the of GTV9. And yeah, gonna be heading off. See it see you on the next video.